Oh my gosh, my hat is so crooked. All right, what's up, people? Um, it's Friday, Saturday. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like two thirds of an Ironman. I don't really have like a pool, and I'm not swimming in the bay, and it's pandemic season, so I can't like go to a gym or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna try to do like two thirds of an Ironman. Maybe I already said that. I don't know. It's been scatterbrained. Uh, 112 miles on the bike. The route to SF, I'm gonna try to go to the Golden Gate from Mountain View. Route to SF is not super chill. There's like quite a bit of climbing on the route I wanted to go, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. And then I haven't ran in like, like, like many years. Um, I would say I'm in very good shape, but I haven't ran in a while, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, right now I am eating a burrito on my lunch break. Um, I, this is my office. You guys are in my office, in my room. You can see music stuff. Uh, I've got an album probably dropping soon, just like all the sad songs from Getting My Heart Broken way too much last year. Uh, and then like, you know, pandemic, heartbreak, and then like just a whole bunch of bull, you know, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, check that out too. But uh, this video is gonna be stupid. Uh, you're about to see a guy hate himself for an entire day uh, after he eats a burrito, which I mean, I might hit myself after this burrito too, but uh, I ate a lot of burritos, so maybe I'm just a masochist. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, a little interjection. It is still the same day. I ate that burrito like five hours ago. Uh, I got a pretty bitchin' song in the works, but I showed it to my coworker and he's like, bro, you got out of solo. And it's, cause it's very November rain-esque. So I'll like, I'll play like a little bit of it. Uh, let me see if I can like figure this out. So the solo needs a little bit of love. Uh, and I've been doing that for like the last hour and I don't, I'm not a very good musician. I'm just good at writing songs, I guess. And I just know how to play all the instruments. So like, uh, yeah, they take forever to actually like make good but they take me like five minutes to write and like five hours to like make decent. So I'm still doing that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This song's not gonna be out for like months, but you can check out my other stuff that's much worse and more satirical. Uh, link in the bio. Good ciao. All right, so it is 5 a.m. I had planned to sleep a little bit longer, but um, I don't know, my brain had other plans, I suppose. So I'm just gonna get started. Uh, this is what I look like in the morning, like unflexed and then I guess flexed, it doesn't really matter, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna look a little bit different this afternoon and this evening, um, if I even remember to record those updates. So we're gonna get going. I've got a lot of food I wanna consume and then, um, then it's off to the races. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have two bananas. I have this like cranberry wrap from Safe Safeway. Uh, I'm gonna eat two waffles, and then I'm gonna drink I think one of these Gatorades. So I have three there, uh, and then maybe I'll have some Kashi cereal or something. I don't know. We're kind of winging it here, um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I wanted to eat more like yesterday and today, but. Uh, I feel like I was at my parents for a while and they just feed us uh, junk food uh, at times, uh, or they have junk food, they don't feed it to us. Uh, so I was probably eating more calories than I would have liked to. I like gained a couple pounds. Um, so I think I'm pretty like full on, you know, muscle glycogen or whatever. So I just need to sort of like eat uh, to sustain myself until like noon today. Um, and then I'll be back before I run, if I even make it to the run. Uh, to eat more food. All right, so I ate the two bananas. I ate, or I drank half of the Gatorade, and I ate the freaking wrap. The wrap was not good. I would not, I would not recommend it. Cranberry wrap, no. It was like all gooey and like, like dripping everywhere. Just like say no to plumping. Like for those of you that were marketed to by Foster Farms in like 2007, you know what I'm talking about. It was just like dripping water everywhere. It's like, it's unnecessary. But we got waffles cooking. Uh, I should probably take them out. Um, I'm pretty full, so that's good because I'm not gonna be able to eat for like 
many hours. I have a lot of the goos, but I mean, a little hundred calorie thing, that's nothing. So now I'm probably gonna just be dressed next time you see me. There she is, we got tools, we got two water bottles, we got my legs, we got my face and my body, um, and the keys. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna bring them with, I think I'm gonna hide them under a rock outside because I don't want pokey nonsense happening on my body anywhere. And these are honestly the most important thing besides my phone and I'm not gonna lose my phone, I promise. So, yep. Streets of, I don't know if we're in, Palo Alto or Mountain View yet. Yeah, I was just saying, I don't know if I'm in Palo Alto or Mountain View yet, but I'm definitely riding. Maybe it's even Los Altos. Who even knows slash cares? But it's nice out. It's about 6 a.m. I'm just making my way to like Foothill Expressway. I'll take that uh, to Woodside area. And then I'll hop on Canada Road, Kenyatta Road, whatever, for a bit. And we'll see what happens from there. All right, so we're like 45 minutes into this thing. We're in Woodside on Kenyatta Road or whatever. Oh, my foot hurts. I don't know, I wore different socks today. I've only worn these shoes a couple times, but I wore different socks today. Maybe it wasn't a good idea. Whatever, we're repping my high school. Ka chow there's a rooster going. We beat the rooster by like an hour, like dude, retire. But anyway, having a good time. This is rad. Fashion update. I'm just kidding. I'm wearing the same clothes. These runners were on my side of the road Like there are arrows on the ground My side of the road Too wide I'm like fellas the audacity. Yeah, look at that arrow. See that arrow over there? That's the side they were supposed to be on But and then he goes You could cut over I'm like bro. You are on two feet. There are two of you. You're too wide I have time for this. All right, uh, I'm in somewhere. Uh, I think I'm in like Burlingame, maybe like Daly City. I don't know. I'm feeling really, this is like too easy. I'm probably taking it too easy, but I'm really wanting to make it to the run and through the run. So I didn't expect this to really be hard. Uh, I need to figure out where I'm going and then probably Golden Gate next stop. <sighs> so it was supposed to be a smooth ride. It turned into the way it was closed. So I had to go down to the bottom of the hill that I just climbed. <sighs> Up and around. Now I'm back on top of the hill, but about 1,500 extra feet of climbing later. So I'm pretty tired. That kind of sucked, but that's why we're doing this. See what we can push through. So, I don't know. I'm on Skyline and like close to Pacifica, which is kind of chill. So it's super misty right now. This isn't even close to as bad as it was. Kind of janky, I don't have a light on my bike. So I've been, I wouldn't recommend this to anybody. I'm like soaking wet, cars can't see me, and I'm just like terrified for my life, filming and riding with one arm like an idiot. Uh, so if you see me again, I'll have survived. Right now, I mean, it's just misty, baby. Very misty. I don't know if you guys can read the sign, but we made it to San Francisco. Uh, had to take a little bit of a weird route, uh, cutting down through Daly City a little bit. I ended up on the freeway legitimately for like a mile, uh, which is unfortunate, but we did it, dude. We freaking did it. So this is my ugly face. And that's the freaking ocean, baby. That's the ocean. That's where fish live and like maybe mermaids. There's no mermaids, I just made that up. But if you're a little kid, there actually are mermaids. I don't want to be crushing any dreams out here. So the zoo is like right here. That's the zoo. Can you imagine how like hyped the animals are on all the peace and quiet? Like, it's gotta be nice, dude. It's like a vacation for them. Look at that, look at that. Wow. Yeah, look at that, incredible filming. Whatever, I'm doing this with one arm. We're doing it, baby. Ooh. It's on a road, it's just straight up on a road. It's like closed. A little food break at Land's End, I guess. I don't know.
that's a Golden Gate Bridge. It's kind of red, but <laughs> I'm just kidding, I knew that. Uh, yeah, we made it. I'm gonna just like go onto the bridge to like say I went on the bridge and then I'm just turning around and going home. <laughs> A little different now. I'm uh, in Berlin game. It's just super chill. I'm uh, right on the bay. Super nice. I mean, I, I had some moments. I'll talk about this when I'm finished. Had some moments, man. But uh, we're here. We're chilling. I'm feeling good. We're gonna finish this strong and go home and eat and then start running. We made it, dude. And my light, this is my light. Sorry, the apartment is a mess because it's quarantine and I've been bouncing back between my parents and this place. So there's just stuff everywhere. And this washer, they were supposed to pick it up when they dropped off the new one. They didn't do that. So uh, yeah, we just have a lot of extra stuff in here, but uh, 112 miles, uh, 5,300 vertical feet. The light came uh, today when I could have used it when I was about to die on that skyline and on the freeway. But hey, it was a pretty good day. Um, I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna see if I can run still. Uh, 5,000 feet, I was planning on like 1,500 feet of climbing, so 5,000 was a little more than I bargained for. I still want to try to run, maybe just any amount just to see what I can do. Uh, so I'm gonna eat some food. I really wanna do a quick, I'm gonna do a quick weight check. Usually, I didn't weigh myself this morning, usually I'm around 197. That's good, okay, so. Uh, and then I'm gonna do a mirror check just to see how different I looked in this morning. Uh, that's good that we were hydrated. So this is what I look like now, unflexed, flexed, it hurts to flex. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, heck yeah, food time. All right, so we just had another one of those wraps. Now we've got this weird teriyaki bowl I got at Safeway. People wonder, why don't I cook? Well, I just don't have time between like work and then Neil and I work on side projects like two hours a day typically and then working out and then making music and then random cycling and motorcycling and editing videos and whatever. It's just not something I've prioritized. I wanna talk about that ride just a little bit while the food cools down and then I'm gonna one shot that Gatorade. Uh, it was, I mean, it was different. Like dirt biking, mountain biking, I'd say it's a lot more intense. It's a lot more difficult per second, you know, like obviously burning a million calories on an eight hour bike ride is gonna be harder on my body. No one's disputing that, but it just, I, you know, I almost felt like I could have gone forever if I had enough of the gel packs. You know, I, I only brought like eight. If I had like 40 of those things, like I could have ridden 200 miles. Like that was not hard in that sense, you know? Um, versus like the moto, like moto, like I can't, I physically cannot ride for more than 25 minutes. Like if I'm on a motocross track, I'm tapping out up to 25 minutes. Uh, and mountain biking, it's it's like a similar thing. There's not really a mental side to road biking or cardio based things. So I mean, that's kind of why I'm partial to like action sports. You know, there's a factor of danger, there's skill, um, and there's, you know, the physical side of things. Oh my gosh, my neck. I, if, wow, just a lot of, I just started a lot of sentences right there. I am so beat on my neck, oh my God. Uh, didn't get sunburned though, pretty bitchin'. Um, but yeah, there was, I bonked a couple times. There was a moment there that was actually like pretty scary. I would say, I don't really get scared anymore. I, I know where my line is. It's pretty far. It takes me a while to get to the line, but you know, like running out of fuel, having to pee, um, like being low on water in the ghetto <laughs> lost. I went the wrong way. There's like cars with like crazy music blaring by me and I'm like in their way. There's like homeless people like on the corner and stuff. And I'm like lost in spandex. Like, you know, like just a dream come true. Um, and I was just out of my comfort zone. It was like, a, it was like a moment where I was like, oh my gosh. But luckily I had no backup plan. You know, like, I don't know if you want to do something, just don't give yourself a plan B and, and you'll have to do it. And so I just started pedaling, uh, pulled out my phone, like, kind of put on a mead mug and like got out of people's way and just figured it out and booked it home. Um, 
so I don't know, just a lesson there, I guess, for me. Uh, oh, now I gotta one shot this Gatorade. Okay, I already did one of them. I like did a whole one of these. So let me just see if I can do this. Uh, that, was, that was a lot. Oh, I didn't like that at all. No, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna try to run. Holy smokes. Dude, these glasses, I got them when I was like, like literally 11 and I found them in a bag. I've got these knee sleeves on. My knees aren't really bad necessarily, but like maybe they're bad right now. Uh, dude, I look good. This is turbo mode. Like I'm gonna be running four to seven times faster out there just easily. I think I ate too much. I'm uh, a little bit full. I'm just really, oh God, I feel awful. Wow. <laughs> my body's honestly chill. It's like my stomach, dude. My GI tract is like, boy, why did you eat a Chipotle wrap right after that? And then it's like two bananas, Chipotle wrap, teriyaki bowl, two 32 ounce Gatorades, a multivitamin and some B vitamins. Dude. All right, very good start. I dropped my noon all over the place. I'd like pick it up off the road. And then I started running and I almost threw up. So I'm gonna walk for a little bit and just sort of like digest and then we'll play it by ear. But I'm feeling good physiologically besides my stomach. I'm feeling pretty good. Entar Nation, are you doing back here with no updates, Jack? Well, this is my update on my body right now after the marathon. Uh, yeah, so here's what happened. The Chipotle wrap happened. Oh my gosh, dude. I got going. First off, I made it, I waited a half hour. You know, you, you wait a half hour to swim. I figure you wait a half hour to run a marathon. I, you know, rookie mistake, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, so <laughs> I started running. I'm First I dropped all my noon on the ground. Then I almost threw up. Then I almost like did the, you know, number two and I, I like walked for a half hour and I was like, okay, like, am I good? And then it got really bad. And it's like, right now, I don't know if bathrooms are open or whatever. So I just beelined at home, uh, which is really unfortunate. But I actually like, I'm kind of bummed because I really planned for the running. Like I did not cook myself at all on the ride. Like it took eight hours to go a hundred miles. That's a joke. Uh, even with 5,000 feet of climbing, like dude, come on. Uh, but uh, you know, my stomach had other plans. Uh, and that's, that's a freaking bummer. So next time, maybe there will be a next time, uh, we're doing a flat 112. We're not doing freaking, we're not going to San Francisco through the mountains. Uh, and then second, uh, we're gonna do our nutrition a lot better. So simple sugars, and we're gonna go back to back more or less. Cause honestly, my legs were fine. Like I feel like I just went on a normal bike ride. It really feels like a tough mountain bike ride. Like my legs, they're just fine. Um, so, yeah. Kind of unfortunate, hate to let you guys down. Um, probably gonna watch a little Tiger King right now. You're probably wondering, what the heck? It's freaking May, dude. Like, you haven't watched Tiger King yet? That's a long story for another time. So I'm gonna do that and then just work on music and cry a little bit for failing miserably. Well, what can you do? Anyway, thanks for watching this. It was sort of thrown together. I figured I wanted to document this for myself and maybe somebody would be interested. Uh, so spark notes, bring for every 45 minutes, bring one of the goos for every 45 minutes, bring a noon, uh, plan with water fountains, plan bathrooms. That's huge also. And then otherwise it's really easy. Uh, just be in shape, uh, you know, ride your bike a lot, run, whatever. I don't know. I didn't swim. I probably can't swim. Realistically, I just sink to the bottom. Uh, but yeah, that's my spark notes. Thanks for watching. Ooh.